Here I want to continue working with fractions. Before we were just talking about uh, adding or subtracting fractions, it's also good to know how to multiply or divide fractions. So uh, I'll work first of all with multiplying. If we're going to multiply fractions, the key thing here, this is actually really easy. It turns out adding and subtracting fractions is much harder. So multiplying fractions, all you have to do here is just multiply the uh, numerators and multiply, I'm just going to short form it, so M-U-L-T, so multiply the denominator. Oops, I'm running out of room, thank goodness for computers, because you can just go with that. If I was writing that by hand, of course, I'd have to erase it or something. So uh, multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So I'll give an example of that, what I mean by this. So if I'm looking at uh, an example, let's say I have something like um, x over 4. I'm going to use x's as well. See, fractions can have letters and numbers. It doesn't really matter. Let's say I have x over 4. I want that fraction times 2 over 5. So multiplying fractions, super easy. I just multiply the top times the top. That's what numerator means. Numerator is the top. So multiply the top times the top. So x times 2 just gives me, well, we normally put the number in front, so it gives me 2x. So 2 times x gives me 2x. And the bottom, the denominators, well, 4 times 5, that's 20. You see, I just get 2x over 20. And you might think, hey, well, I'm done. But remember, in the last video, uh, we were looking at, we always have to reduce our fractions. Now, this x can't really have anything done to it. There's no x's on the bottom that I could use to cross things off but I can reduce the fraction 2 over 20. Okay, so 2 divides by the same number that 20 does. In fact, they can both be divided by 2. So 2 divided by 2 gives me a 1. There's like a little stealth 1 here sitting in front right here. We normally just don't write it. We could, but we're just really lazy in math. Well, maybe not lazy. We're just trying to write things in the most compact way possible. So what is 20 divided by 2? That's 10. Again, if you didn't believe me, just to show you the cheater way, you can always take that fraction 2 over 20. Again, it's a bit ridiculous. You shouldn't need to do this on your calculator, but just to show you the neat things, so math, enter, enter, you can always get the reduced fraction. So 1 over 10, of course, times x. So I'll move my calculator out of the way there. So this right here was x over 10. That's how we can multiply fractions. Now, dividing fractions has just one little level of complexity. That's it. And after that, it's really easy. So dividing fractions. If we're going to do that, the trick is first, we need to multiply by the reciprocal. I'll explain what I mean here. So it's a good idea just to write down the rule I'm going to use, and then I'll actually show you how I use that rule. So uh, another example, let's say I have, I want a fraction divided by a fraction. It could be anything. I could have x's, I could just have numbers. Let's say I have like 5 6 divided by four thirds, let's say. This is a fraction divided by a fraction. So it looks really complicated and totally crazy. A nice easy trick is to do what I just said here, multiply by a reciprocal. What it means, I'm gonna take the top fraction, the five, six, I'm gonna leave it here. But here, the reciprocal of this bottom here, um, actually wait, I should be very careful what I wrote here. I should actually say multiply by the reciprocal Sorry about that. I do want to try to be a little bit uh, complete with this. So multiply by reciprocal of the denominator. In other words, this bottom number right here, that's the one I have to take the reciprocal of. And a reciprocal just means um, doing one over that. So one over four over three. And that might sound really complicated, but a nice easy trick is to just say, well, let's take this four over three and let's flip it. So a lot of teachers talk about flipping something. And this is what I mean by flipping it is, I'm going to multiply 5 6 by 4 thirds, but flipped. So in other words, I'm going to make it 3 over 4. That's how you can always work with fractions. Okay, so this is a really easy trick, is to just, first of all, rewrite your top fraction, rewrite it, and your bottom fraction, you actually want to flip it, so to speak, or take the reciprocal. And now what do we do? Well, it's just like multiplying fractions now, see? So I multiply the top times the top. So 5 times 3 gives me 
15. 6 times 4 gives me 24. Now, uh, what can I do here? I can actually uh, reduce this fraction as well. Remember, we always have to reduce them. Turns out these can both divide by 3. So 15 divided by 3 is going to be 5. And 24 divided by 3 is going to be 8. Now, this is a reduced fraction. So your teacher would be very happy, I think, to see that. Now, this comes up often in math in all sorts of levels, not only from, you know, uh, at a basic level, but also comes up later on, you know, in the middle of, you know, doing crazy calculus problems, or all sorts of different situations, being able to work with fractions, either adding, subtracting, or multiplying and dividing them becomes really important. So the better you are at doing these, the easier life becomes later on. Math, a lot of it is uh, very cumulative, which means, you know, if you don't understand the first step, it's hard to understand the second step. And I think uh, being able to work with fractions comfortably is something quite important.